Hello, it's Yashino here, finally back with another tutorial. Today I will show you how to make this very, very cool effect to make your model shiny, have its color pop out. I think this effect is very suitable for Halloween, that it's very soon. It's all tracked. As you can see, this is my model without any filters. And if you like this effect, stay tuned because I will show you a super fast, easy way to make it in a moment. First of all, very, very big disclaimer. This is not my method. I didn't create it. This is the person that created this method, is Virtual Graves. I will leave the link to his uh, Twitter in the description. The reason why I'm making this tutorial is because following the tutorial that he made, it's written and it's a little bit difficult, so I thought that maybe having a video of it would uh, make it easier to understand. But full credit goes to him, he's the one that made this method, so please go check him out uh, because, yes, he's the one that created this method. First step is to install this uh, plugin for OBS. Let me tell you that this method that I use is for OBS. I don't know about other programs. You might try to, but I know that this works for OBS. So I will leave you the link uh, to download this plugin. Now that you are here, go to Windows. If you are in uh, Windows, you, you can choose in here the one that uh, suits you the best. Go to latest production, scroll down. There we go. Here you have for Mac, whatever. I choose Windows. You download that. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. And you just need to run this application this X that you get and it's gonna install. If you have OBS open, please close it after installation and then reopen it so that the plugin uh, can activate. And you know that it's activated because you will get a pop-up with the confirmation that the plugin has activated. Now, let's give a look inside of OBS. One thing that I want you to do is to, first of all, create a folder for your uh, filtered VTuber model. So we're gonna keep everything tidy. How you can do this, click here, group. Uh, my OBS is in Italian because I'm Italian, but click on group. I just call it VTube, VTube Studio, however, however you want. Now that you have it, Put your model inside of it. If you don't have your model inside of it, you can just click here, capture game, and then uh, put inside your VTube Studio. So I already have it. Let me show you how the trick actually works because this is very simple. So this one that I'm moving right now, is my normal VTube Studio model without any filter. This other model that is filtered is the mix of two different sources that you see here. One is the base model, just darkened. And the other one is the glowy parts. So let's check how I made it. First of all, you need to create a source mirror that you're gonna put under everything else that you made. How you do that is just by clicking here, source mirror. So then after you have created it, click, right click on it, then click on filters, right click, add blur. And in your blur, you need to uh, put type dual filtering and subtype area and size nine now that we have this source mirror we have let's let's look at the darker avatar version first 
you need to create a new source mirror and call it VTuber avatar. Now, right click on it, properties, in here, source, you need to put your VTube Studio source, which is gonna be your base model without any filtering. Okay. Now, again, right click and filters. This time, we're gonna right click, add dynamic mask. This dynamic mask is gonna make so that your model uh, changes its color depending on your screen. So, input source needs to be the source mirror that you put at the bottom, which by the way, properties, I forgot to show you, properties, right click, click on properties, the source of this one is gonna be your, your game, or the folders, the folder where you put all of your games. In my uh, case, it's screen dark, but maybe if you play Phasmophobia, then click on Phasmophobia in here, for example. Let's go back here. Right click filters, dynamic mask. So let's check all of this channel. Inside of red channel, we're gonna change base value and red input. Inside of green channel, we're going to change base value and green input. Inside of blue channel, we're going to change base value and blue input. So, these uh, uh, numbers might change. Uh, it depends on your preference. So, base value is the minimum brightness of your model. I put 0 0.3. If you put 0, it might be too dark. Maybe in Phasmophobia, you get full black screen and your model completely disappears. If you put 0 0.3, then you're still not gonna less, not gonna get 100% dark. You need to play with this. Same thing with uh, red input for red channel, green input for green channel. You need to change this. I put 0 0.9. I think this is the best option for me. Just remember, choose one number, for example, 0 0.9, and green for green, red for red, blue for blue, needs to be all the same. If you make them different, your model is gonna have weird changes in, the, in its color. So let's put 0 0.9 for all of them. You can try it like this. If you don't like it, you can change and tweak a little bit. Let's close this one. Now we will have our darkened model. That it's also going to be reactive to a video game. But if we want to step up this little trick a little bit, we can add glow as well. How we do that? We add another source mirror. Same thing as before. Click here. Source mirror. Now, right click it. Properties. This is going to be VTube Studio. Same thing. It's going to be your base model. You need to put in this source your base model without any filter. In my case, it's VTube Studio, it's called VTube Studio. Right click properties, I mean filters. And we're gonna work, sorry, we're gonna work with the chroma key. For this one, I cannot give you a precise number because for me it was magenta, but for you might be blue, green. It depends on the colors of your model. For example, if I put blue, only my only my gold is shining. If I put green, I get very weird effect. I mean, this can be a cool effect for you as well. It depends on what you like, but I don't really like this. For this one, you really have to try. Play with this, see how much you like it. And find your personal preference. 
What can I say? This was all. I promise you it's gone. it was gonna be fast. Please make sure to like, subscribe and comment if you like this video. Maybe share it with your friends. And make sure to check my How to Life to the uh, playlist where I put tutorials. I am trying to my best to make them as beginner friendly as possible. I am covering different topics like eyes tutorial, um, eyebrows, animated tears, ears, how to fix YouTube studio. All of this is all for you. Uh, I just hope you enjoy it. I also stream on Twitch. If you want, you can come in my stream. I will try to answer your questions. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment. If you are having any problem, I will answer to you and hopefully fix your problems. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you again and bye bye.